Hey beautiful beaters, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I'm back today with the Half Nexus bracelet tutorial. I have three colorway examples here in front of you right now and here is the fourth. These of course are very similar to the original Nexus bracelet design that I brought you, which was this one. The difference though is that the original used the full-size tealas as well as six millimeter bugles. I wanted to incorporate the half tealas and see how that worked. And I really like how it came out. So this one incorporates the half tealas, the three millimeter bugles only, and 11-0 and 15-0 seed beads. You can find all of these materials and much more at EurekaCrystalBeads.com. They have a wide selection of colors of the bugles and the tealas in all different sizes, as well as the other materials. I will link everything right down below the video, as well as give you a specific list of all the quantities you'll need. Besides the beads, as you can see, we'll be using two wire guards, two jump rings, the clasp of your choice, some scissors and jewelry pliers, and I'm gonna recommend about 12 feet of beading thread. My go-to is the six pound .006 inch diameter fire line, and I'll be using a size 10 beading needle. Now you're welcome to complete this bracelet just how I taught it in the original Nexus design, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to bring you a different way to complete the bracelet to show you how these can be worked up in different ways and you get the same result. So I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get started. Go ahead and thread your needle and let's jump into this tutorial. All right, so the first step is to string on a half tila, a bugle and another half tila, and you're gonna bring these down to about the halfway point of your thread, doesn't have to be exact, but the reason I'm doing this is because I don't like to work with a whole 12 feet of beading thread at one time if I don't have to. And so this is a method I use sometimes to kind of divvy up the thread. It allows us to have a shorter amount to work with so we're not pulling and pulling forever. And also we have all this thread in place at our tail section that we can put a needle back on and continue working without having to add in a separate piece of thread. So you'll see more about how this works in just a moment. Now that we have these beads in place, we're actually gonna be completing everything all at once and going from left to right, as opposed to doing this bracelet in completely separate layers like we did in the original. What we wanna do now is pick up another bugle and with that on our needle, we're going to head down the other hole of the teal that we're coming out of. Just like that, and we'll pop this in place. And just like we had to do before, you might have to pull that a little bit to finagle it to get it to sit flat against the top of the teal bead like that. And then we wanna pick up another bugle and we wanna go through the other open hole of the first teal that we added on. So it's gonna bring all of these together. Just like that. Now we're ready to add another bugle. And we're gonna go up through the other hole of the teal that we're coming out of, as well as up through the bugle, the next teal. Go ahead and pull that. And once again, pop that bugle into place so it's sitting flat against the bottom of this tila. Now let's head over to the right through the bugle that's on the top and back down the tila, bugle, and tila. And there we go. Now we're ready to add another section that looks just like this. So we're gonna pick up another tila, bugle, tila, and we're gonna swing our needle back around and go through the opposite direction of the beads we're coming out of and go down through the tila, bugle, tila, which will pop those three we just picked up right next to our other section right here. Now to bring this all together, let's go up through the tila bugle tila that we just added. Pull that nice and tight. And then we're ready to add our bugle on the top. So pick one up and go down through the open hole of the tila that we're coming out of. Get it to sit straight as best you can. It'll tighten up as we go. And now, of course, we need a bugle bead sitting right in this gap. So let's pick one up 
and head down through the next tila. Holding that with my thumb and my forefinger and that just popped right into place. And then of course we need another bugle down here, so let's pick one up and go up through the tila bugle tila. Pulling that tightly, going once again through the bugle and down through the tila bugle tila. There we go. So we're gonna be working this bracelet in sections of two of these guys, just like that. Every time you have two of these, then we're ready to embellish the top some more. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to be popping an 11-0 in all of these gaps along the sides of the bracelet in between the bugles. And since we're coming out of this tila right here, it just makes sense for us to follow the thread path heading back that way to the left. Then pick up an 11-0 and then proceed through the next bugle and bam, it popped that right into place. Let's add the one we need on the top. So head up the Tila bugle Tila on the side. And then to the right through the bugle on the top, pick up an 11-0 and then head through the other bugle and that pop that one into place. So that's what we have so far. And now we're ready to make our little X embellishment over the top. Now we don't wanna be coming out of a bugle. We wanna be coming out of a tila in order to do that. So let's head down again through the tila bugle tila to get us positioned so we're coming out of a tila bead. And now we're ready to make our first cross of beads right there. So what that's gonna consist of is a 15-0, a bugle, then we need to pick up three more 15-0s, another bugle, and a 15-0. So this is the sequence that you wanna have on your needle, and we're gonna go diagonally across our two blocks that we just made, and we're gonna head down through the Tila Bugle Tila all the way on the left and pop those beads right over top of that section. And now of course we need to finish our X and because we're coming out of this Tila bead down here, we're in a good spot. We're ready to pick up a 15-0, a Bugle, this time just one 15-0 and we're gonna cross through the center 15-0 right there. So pull these beads down. And then just head up that center 15-0 seed bead, holding this with your thumb and your forefinger while you pull. Pull it nice and tight. And that is half of that section. Let's complete the other half. Of course, mirroring what we just did. So we wanna pick up a 15-0, a bugle, and a 15-0. And then we're gonna head down through the Tila Bugle Tila on the far right hand side. And when we do that, and we hold on to this with our thumb and our forefinger and we pull the thread nice and tight, we have completed the first section of our bracelet. So you can see that this is another way to do it if you wanna do everything kind of all at once. I actually really like doing it this way, especially with the half Tila bracelet. I just find that it felt good to me to do it that way. Nothing scientific about that, but crafting should be fun, beading should be fun. So you wanna do what feels good to you, what's relaxing, what makes sense. So of course now we're ready to begin another section. Let's do one more together before moving on. So we wanna pick up a Tila bugle and Tila, and we need to swing around through the Tila Bugle Tila that we're exiting out of there on the end. So we're adding in another section. Go back up the Tila Bugle Tila that you just added, going through those same holes. Pull that. Now we need our bugle bead on the top, so pick one up. Go through the Tila. 
Get that to sit straight. Pick up another bugle and fill in the gap. And then we need a bugle on the bottom. So pick one up and then head back up the Tila bugle Tila. Pull nice and tight. Head to the right through the bugle. And then down through the Tila bugle Tila. And let's add another one. So Tila bugle Tila going around the opposite direction of the beads that we're coming out of and straight down those three Tila Bugle Tila. I'm going to say that a lot. And up through the Tila Bugle Tila, holding that tightly. You want to pull this nice and tight after each step. And once again, let's add our bugle up there at the top. Add one in the middle. And add one at the bottom. Going up through the Tila Bugle Tila to pop that one in place. Heading to the right through the bugle. Because we want to get into position to pop in our 11 O's. Go down through the Tila Bugle Tila all the way on the end. and then go back through the bugle on the bottom. That will position us to pop in our first 11-0 right there. So pick one up and head through the next bugle. And this time we have another gap to fill in at the bottom. So we're gonna pick up another 11-0. And let's proceed through the next bugle, just like that. And then head up the Tila Bugle Tila right there, kind of where you're coming out of that bugle bead. Pull that tightly and then return toward the right, coming out of that Tila and going through the bugle that is on the top there, right where I left off, so that we can fill in those other two spaces. Picking up an 11 0 and going through the next bugle, picking up another 11 0 and going through the next bugle, just like that. And now let's head back down the side so we're ready to begin our next X. So down through the bugle, Tila bugle. And we're going to do the same thing we did before to add in our next X embellishment. So we're going to pick up a 15 0 a bugle, three 15 O's, a bugle, and a 15 O. We're coming out of the Tila down here, so we want to head in a diagonal direction going down the Tila, bugle Tila, that is on this side, the far side of that second row that we're embellishing. Pull nice and tight. And let's finish up our X by picking up a 15 0, a bugle, one 15 0, heading through just that center 15 0 to cross through there. Hold that and pull. And then a 15 0, a bugle, and a 15 0, and head back down the Tila bugle, Tila all the way on the end to start our next section of two. And that is how this bracelet is completed. You're gonna do that the entire length. You can make it as long as you want. I found that about 14 X's worth was good for about a seven inch bracelet once you add the jump rings and the clasp. And of course you want to have an even number in these rows of Tila's because you're gonna be going in groups of two to make these X's. So what I was doing was I was going all the way until I was running out of thread on my working side, and then I would add my wire guard. Now in order to do that, just like we did in the original Nexus bracelet, I actually like to be coming out of a bugle bead in order to attach the wire guard to the side. So let's follow a thread path. I'm just gonna go back through this bugle and 11 0 I'm gonna go up through the Tila bugle Tila right here. And then I'm gonna come out of this 11-0 and bugle at the top. 
And now let's string on the following sequence. Let's do an 11 O, a bugle, three 15 O's, and a wire guard. Go through one side, pull it down, and then we'll go through the other side. And we're gonna mirror that. So we need to pick up three more 15 O's a bugle and an 11 O and then head through the bugle and the 11 O down here at the bottom to complete that section. There you can see it brought it all together and it's ready for our findings once we're ready to get to that point. I'm gonna go back up through the Tila bugle Tila right there where my needle is coming out and let's go through this two more times to reinforce the section. And then what you'll do is you'll just tie and knot off your thread and you will add a needle to your tail thread, which should be nice and long. And you'll continue working in the other direction in the exact same manner as we just did. You'll just flip it around and keep on going as if nothing ever happened. So like I said, about 14 X's worth worked well for me for a seven inch bracelet. So you can size this accordingly. You can back up the video you need to and continue on. And then we will meet back and admire our work. All right guys, so as you can see, I have completed this bracelet. Just followed the same steps all the way down and added my wire guard on the other end, just like we did before. And now we can attach our jump rings and our clasp. Got these already twisted open, so I could just pop this on, and I'm using a magnetic clasp today. They're so easy to get on and off, and pretty strong, too. There's one side, and then we'll pop on our other side. Twist it back. And there is our finished bracelet. I think it came out great and I can't wait to hear how yours came out too. So please feel free to share that with me in the comments down below. I hope this tutorial was easy for you to follow. As usual, I will leave the links and full materials list down below the video. Once again, Eureka Crystal Beads has all of these products all in one place and lots of different color options. I hope you'll stick around for much more to come, lots more tutorials in the future. It always means so much to me to have you joining in. Until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and as always, happy beading. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can check out the information section below this video for links to all my social media handles, recommended products, and my shop and blog at orchidandopal.com. Thanks for watching.